banging the drum for Brighton. Children always begin the festival, so what have the adults got planned this year? Well, Brighton Festival is celebrating its 50th festival this year, and we're doing that by uh, incorporating a theme of home. We're looking at Brighton as home for the festival and everything that, uh, that goes around home for people. <laughs> These pictures have just come to light, found in an attic of the first festival in 1967. Here's the Who smashing their drum kit. I thought it would all gone forever. And um, we had it digitised, all the footage digitised. And there it was, you know, in pristine condition in a way. Do you know these fabulous early fans? The guest director is the musician Laurie Anderson. The theme this year is home, but she's got a surprise or two. We'll be doing a concert for dogs, and I am so curious who's going to show up. Then there's Shakespeare, rehearsed here, every onstage death in all of his works. Cleopatra's a pretty good one, I That's reckon. Asp. Uh, lots of asp. We're going to do a lot of asp dancing uh, in that one. Other favourite deaths? Um, All the ones from Titus Andronicus are pretty fantastic. Why? Uh, well, there are so many and they're very inventive. Two of them are cooked and put into a pie. History becomes art in Dr Blighty, the story of thousands of Indian soldiers from the First World War treated in Brighton. The soldiers were here for a period of 18 months. Uh, many were patched up and sent back. Others uh, never made it back. From puppetry to dance and rude girls singing, all performers will be here in Brighton. Will you? <laughs> <laughs>